The Saskatoon couple is dealing with a seasonal bug that has returned with the spring weather. They say after doing everything in their power to keep a growing infestation at bay, they're running out of options. Keenan Sorokon reports. Bob McCult never had to deal with maple bugs before he and his wife Rita bought their home in Confederation Park three years ago. Now his driveway, his yard, and the front of his home are red with the creepy crawlers. I kill literally hundreds of thousands of them, and I come out an hour later, and there's more. More than when I started. The box elder bug, commonly known as a maple bug, feeds on seeds from female maple trees. In the last few years, their populations have increased because of recurring droughts, which stress the trees and release more seeds for them to feed on. I don't know what the appropriate word would be for level of frustration, but... Uh it's untenable. Thankfully, on overcast days like this, the McCults get a box elder break. But when the sun comes out, so do the bugs, to the point where you can't even see much of the front of the house as the bugs take over all summer long. McCult feels he has a simple problem with a simple solution. Unable to do basic maintenance like painting his home, he wants the tree removed, especially since it's a city tree on their side of the property line. McCult even took his concerns to a city committee last week. The sidewalk crawls, our driveway crawls, our house crawls. It's, it's beyond anything I've ever experienced before in my life. He's willing to share removal costs with the city, a request which was denied. So under our tree bylaw and the uh, trees on city property policy, removing a tree for um, insects uh, would not be allowed. Andre says the best the city can offer for the 20 maple bug calls they get every year is advice. Seal your home, water the tree, and spray a mixture of dish soap and water. The city stopped planting female maple trees in 2007, partly because of this issue. Now McCall regrets informing the city. If he were to remove the tree himself, he could face a fine of up to $10,000. We're sort of caught between a rock and a hard place. So common sense somewhere has to prevail, but it certainly isn't yet. Keenan Sorokan, CTV News, Saskatoon.